This was my failed attempt at using drywall screws in cement board. It didn't go over too well. The Phillips head just would not allow me to pull the screw in very tight. Here's where I really messed up. I hung the cement board too far down on the tub. It should have been about a quarter inch above. And this is how it looked after I fixed it, after spending a lot of time taking out all the screws and lifting it up so it's about a one quarter above the actual bathtub lip. To fill the gap between the bathtub and the cement board, I used quick setting cement on top of the tape. And then I leveled it with thin set. It's pretty important to have about a quarter inch gap between your sheets of the cement board so that when you put your thin set and the uh, mesh in here, the mortar has something to lock into. So I'm going to finish getting all of these construction screws in here, and I like to use these torque screws because. With a Phillips head drywall, you can't get them tight enough. So when I use these, they just never slip and they can pull the uh, concrete board right up to the wall. And I call it concrete board or cement board interchangeably, but you get the idea. It's pretty hard stuff and it's what you gotta use for putting ceramic tile on. I just make sure they're snug. That way it's not gonna vibrate around when the bus is moving. And here's the roughed in plumbing for the bathtub fill and the PEX tubing. The, on the left, the hot, and the right is cold, and then it goes up to the shower spout. And what I did up there is to put a steel pipe in to hold the place until the tile work is done. And now we'll replace that with the part that came with the plumbing kit. So each end of the shower was one piece of cement board, and I drew lines on it to mark where the studs were. So after installing the cement board, I used the tape and taped all the corners, and then I mixed up VersaBond thin set mortar, and I applied it with a drywall knife and a uh, mortar trowel. That worked very well, and I made sure I cleaned up afterwards along the, the ceiling where it might have touched the wood, and also inside the tub, made sure that was clean. So it's best if you can just tape off your whole tub with masking tape and cardboard before you do this job. Okay, well I got some red guard here to do the bats of walls. Let's see how hard this stuff is to open. I think I can just take a something and put between here and like lift up on the lid. I'm gonna try a little wood chisel and see how that works for some leverage. So if I can get it in there, <laughs> there we go. Kinda like taking a tire off a rim, and if you ever did that before, it just lifts right up. Ooh, it smells. I better open some windows when I put this in. Mm. I wonder if I should be stirring it too. It's got this, uh, looks pink. Ugh. I'm glad that's not gonna be how the final look is. Ooh, it's like it's like pink whipped cream. It doesn't look like it's really stirrable, but we will give it a shot. Okay, well I found this little piece of uh, pine. I'll see if I can stir it with this. See what it looks like down in the bottom here. Yeah, it's consistent. It's looks like it's the same all the way through, and it's like a yep, yeah, like a consistency of whipped cream. So I have the cheap throwaway brush in case it doesn't clean up too well. And I've already taped the bathtub so I don't spill this on the new bathtub in case it doesn't come off very easily. So let's go give this a try on the walls. Actually this reminds me of bubble gum. We'll take what's on the lid here. See how that starts to go on. Oh yeah, it's going in there. I think I'll do two coats on here just to really waterproof these corners. And then once I get these on, I will roll the walls. It's like rolling paint on it. So I don't really need this stick anymore. You know, just take the stuff and put it right on. There we go. Yeah. It, it does like to drip, so good thing I put this down. I took a Home Depot bag cut up and used painter's tape on the corners. 
at least I should have a pretty easy cleanup to do here. So a cement board is really not waterproof. If you put water on it, it will soak right in and supposedly this stuff will uh, prevent any moisture from getting through into the wall in case there's ever a leak in the tile grout. They let on a all ready for the tile now. I hope you enjoyed this video and get value from this type of content. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when we upload any new videos.